on guys it's k-dub here with another episode of crypto zombie live long and prosper welcome back to the channel hope you're having a great day today now having a look at this amazing bitcoin daily chart look at this volume down here bitcoin up over 10%, even more percentage if we come down here all the way to the bottom, essentially right here. If you want to go to the bottom of this wick at around 18,500, that was about a 14% move. Now, we had been a little bit bullish for the past couple days. And of course, there were a lot of bears out there saying, oh, you know, pie in the sky dream. Well, there was a very good explanation for why we were expecting this to happen. Now, actually, it was a bit of a calm before the storm. Number one was because you could see we talked talked about the crypto weekly asset flows being extremely net short. In fact, you can see right here, the inflows brought the total assets under management in short Bitcoin funds up to $158 million. This was the highest amount of inflows that we had seen in a very long time. This was a very crowded trade. So minimally, even if it was just a, you know, fake out dead cat bounce, short squeeze, essentially, we knew that we were going to get some some kind of price action because there were just way too many people on the short side of the trade, right? But that being said, guys, if you want to go over what is happening, if this is actually the real deal, and I'm also going to tell you why this is happening as well, because this is just the first part of the equation. Now, if you watched my previous two videos, nothing about what's happening right now should be surprising, but honestly, not that many people watched yesterday's video. Maybe we're just getting tired, fatigued, you know, some people are leaving the space, but I can tell you guys that tides are potentially changing and we're going to go over that today and also guys make sure that you stick around to the very end of this video i do have a very special opportunity for crypto zombie subscribers it is absolutely free you can get some free crypto worth up to potentially ten thousand dollars as well as free nfts as well so this is just for you guys absolutely free make sure you stick around to the end for that offer okay so let's dive in let's have a look if you're not subscribed guys you are certainly missing out because the writing was on the wall and today we wake up and we have a 14% pump from the bottom. I mean, have a look at that guy. So let's dive in. Let's have a look and see what is really truly happening. So as I said to you guys, this was one of the most significant levels and I kept this chart very, very simple. I didn't want to overcomplicate it. Essentially, this area right here around 18,960 was the weekly candle close for Bitcoin back in the 2017 high. Now, obviously the monthly candle close is way lower, right? But let's just take it a day at a time, okay? Obviously, the higher the uh, time frame gets, the more significant, right? Four hour, not that significant. Daily, more significant than the four hour. Weekly, more significant than the daily, right? That's just how it goes. So this is why we are seeing this area play out. And the fact that we did have that level, we had a little bit of consolidation back here in 2020. And if I zoom in, uh, excuse what I just did over there, guys. If I zoom in over here, you can actually see that we have had literally, look at how many touches, guys. We had this wick. We had one, two, three, four, five. And on top of that, what I love is that we are now putting in higher lows, which is really, 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 really cool, guys. So this isn't absolutely 100% confirmed. We still do have some time until the end of the weekend. But as of right now, you guys can see that we are, in fact, putting in higher lows still on the macro, right? So we have higher highs up here and we have higher lows down here, right? Also, we could be forming a base. So the one thing that we kind of don't want to do is we don't want to keep getting pushed down, you know, where we end up going into, and I'm just going to kind of make this up right now because we don't actually have it. But, you know, if this becomes some kind of a, you know, descending triangle where we just keep flattening out here, well, that wouldn't be good because if we kept getting resistance to the downside and we kept bouncing at this level, this level would weaken and we would fall through it. But currently, we're not in that situation. That's not what we're seeing. And by the way, guys, if you watched the video yesterday, we were talking about this level very specifically. And I said, if we broke through it, and I'm going to be totally honest, I did not think we were going to break through this hard. I thought we were just going to maybe, you know, try to retest it, come down and bounce. But nevertheless, I told you once we did break through this, the next level minimally was the $20,739 level. And even if you did take that trade at the breakout point, you should at least be up six and a half percent. And if you were using something like, I don't know, 5X or something, that's a 30% trade overnight, which is pretty incredible gains. Where else can you get gains like that in the real world? Now, obviously, if we continue to the upside, the next level is going to be some insane 
insane resistance because look at this guys we have this upward sloping trend intersecting with this resistance right here and that level is exactly at 21,742 will we get up to that level I don't know guys this was a pretty big candle maybe we come down you know retest this level right here uh, you know maybe around uh, 20,400 or you know maybe only down to 20,700 right here it's possible but I did say that I knew as soon as we broke through this there was nothing in this area right here right there's no significance essentially to that area you know we had a lot of you know ups and downs in there but really the main areas was right here and right here and as soon as we broke through we essentially just plowed through like it was nothing so guys if you want to learn how to trade and you want these opportunities we go over these every single day potential trade setups make sure that you get subscribed to the channel and make sure that you guys do check out the tutorial that I have for BitGet and now they're doing trade spot with zero fees which is very very competitive guys zero fees if you're doing spot so if you don't want to trade leverage you, you don't want to take those risks I don't blame you guys dollar cost average they have have a lot of airdrops and other things you guys can get involved in and of course if you do want that eight thousand dollar bonus exclusively make sure you guys check out the link below in the description but like i said this is the number one bit get tutorial on the internet i'm very proud of it a lot of people have said how much this has really helped them so make sure you take advantage sixteen thousand bucks below and of course we do have that uh, tutorial popping up above. Now, another thing we talked about, guys, another thing, and look, my drawings are still on here from yesterday. I still have the circles on. So basically, we were talking about how, you know, we have this legacy trend, and every single time we hit this area, we have a bounce. Even when we had the COVID Black Swan event crash, we still had a bounce, and look at what is happening, guys. Right here, we are bouncing off of that level as we speak. That's number one. Number two, what was the other thing that we had spoke about? We talked about this 89 MA, right? Now, I'm not gonna lie, we are still underneath the EMA ribbon. This isn't like a great thing. I'm not saying we're going all in bullish. No, we are still in a clear downtrend. And in fact, if you guys want to know what we essentially need to do in order to break this downtrend, I'm going to make it very simple for you. Right here, guys, we need to get above this downward sloping trend line, right? So if we were to pump up straight today, that would be around $30,600. That's probably not going to be happening anytime soon, but you know, we might go sideways, something like this, and then eventually have that breakout. But I do imagine the first time that we hit this line, we will have, you know, a resistance to the downside. But nevertheless, guys, I digress. I'm getting, I'm getting off topic here. Ultimately, what we said was Bitcoin has never fallen below this 89, which is like this absolute super deep purple moving average and you can see right here I mean technically yes we wicked below it but we, we never closed below it and look at this guys this level is sitting at $18,280 and where did the candle take us $18,535 so we missed it literally by a few hundred dollars nevertheless look at that bounce off these levels this is why people say the technicals don't work but yet they seem to when you're looking at these charts so maybe all of these signals are correct but really Really, 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 what is going on? Why did we really see this? Well, got to shout out again to TED Talks Macro because he pointed out right here, we were starting to have that divergence of the euro to the dollar. Now, remember, like he said, he said that the ECB are going to hike aggressively into the year end, the euro makes up about 58% of the dollar index basket, right? So let's just kind of round that to 60%. Let's just say just for argument's sake. So about 60% of the DXY is based on the euro, right? So if the euro starts to strengthen, then Obviously, just because of correlation, the dollar is going to get weaker. And I just want to point out, now obviously this is not confirmed, but guys, let me let me actually get everything off the chart right now. Just, just get everything off. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Just turning red right here. Do you know what this is? This is a gravestone doji. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a lesson here. This is forming on the DXY. This could be the signal that we've waited for. This is on the monthly, by the way. So just so you guys know, obviously we have a lot of the month left to go. So I don't want to get too excited. We still have until the end of the month. Okay. But look at what a gravestone doji is right here. You can see right here, it essentially marks the reversal. And when you get this, the opposite would be a dragonfly doji, right? It would be, it would be the inverse. But what we're getting is this right here. This is a reversal signal. This is a bearish signal. Do they have any examples in here of like when uh, you would get something like that? 
Um, probably could just Google it or something. But nevertheless, guys, it is a uh, it, it is a very uh, bearish, bearish signal. It usually tends to be the end of the top of a move, right? Lots of selling pressure from the top is usually what you're seeing. So that is that. And if we do have the DXY start to break down, come back down to around 105 maybe, you know, come down especially to these levels, we know that it could be a risk on opportunity for, you know, stocks and Bitcoin and things of that nature. The other thing that I I wanted to point out too is in yesterday's video, there were a couple people in the comments asking me if they should sell all their Bitcoin into Ethereum to prepare for the Ethereum merge. And I said, I didn't think that was a good idea. You should definitely be holding both, right? You don't wanna be all in Ethereum. You don't wanna be all in Bitcoin. You always wanna have that balance. And nevertheless, look at what happened. We came down to this historical level of 39.2%. And if you guys can see what we did here, look at that. Look at this green candle, okay, coming all the way to the upside right here. This is the uh, Bitcoin dominance reversing. And what's interesting, and this is like the mind-blowing part about these charts. We saw Ethereum, right? Ethereum was pushing up right here, pushing up on this resistance, pushing up on this resistance. And look at this, guys. It attempted to have that breakthrough against the Bitcoin dominance. And Bitcoin said, sorry, buddy, uh, you know, I, I'm taking the lead and pushed Ethereum back down again. So this is why you don't want to sell all your Ethereum or sell all your Bitcoin. You want to have a little bit of both exposure to both, not financial advice. That's just what I do. Because in this instance, Bitcoin is actually outpacing Ethereum today, right? Now, granted, obviously, long term, Ethereum has outpaced Bitcoin clearly, um, but you know, for times like today, you wouldn't want to be sitting only in Ethereum and missing out on the percentage of the Bitcoin uh, gains, right? So that is that moving forward. And as you guys can see right here, um, you know the uh, the S and P did have a nice move yesterday. Um, obviously, the, you know whatever happens by the end of the day, the futures were sitting a little bit higher. So so a lot of people are anticipating that today is going to be a bullish day for stocks. Uh, it's very, very early in the morning, and I don't really know what's going to happen by the end of the day. You know, it is Friday. We're going into the weekend. But nevertheless, we did see stocks having that flip of right here. You see how there was this resistance. Or, I'm sorry, the support right here. And then it flipped to resistance right here, came back up, came back down, and that resistance then flipped into back into support. So this is very, very good to see this also happening on the S&P. And of course, guys, I just want to point out, was this like a crystal ball call from Market Cipher? How could Market Cipher have possibly known about everything going on globally in the environment? I have no idea. It could be just a coincidence, but nevertheless, I got to give a shout out. This indicator has absolutely nailed it, guys. Right here, we got that blood diamond. This was on the week of April 22nd. Bitcoin was sitting at around $42,000. And what did we do? Boom, we slid to the downside. So that was a good call. What did we have over here, guys? We had the X for the manipulation, right? And then boom. Bitcoin pumps back up. And of course, right here, July uh, 4th, 2022, we had the green dot saying essentially that the bottom should be in, right? And nevertheless, we do in fact have a higher low structure. So of course, if you guys are looking to trade and you're serious and you want to get this indicator, it is a very, very good indicator, especially when you're trading uh, in trends. Like right now, it was good for the reversal. But once you start going on like a hardcore bull run, this thing made us so much money back in 2019. Like it was absolutely crazy. I highly recommend it. Check it out in the links below. It's not free. You do have to pay for this, but it is a very good indicator if you guys are interested. Now, let me talk super quick about what we have over here. Um, so this is the free opportunity if you guys are interested. Now, you guys may remember uh, that uh, the way back in February, we partnered with uh, PalmSwap. Now, why did we do this? Well, number one, and as you can see at the time, no, there are no entries. This is, this is a, a 11 days to go. And basically, they are doing on-chain perpetual swaps up to 10x leverage. They're using BSC, but why is this so cool? Well, essentially what they're doing is they're allowing you to trade leverage, but completely decentralized outside of a central centralized entity up to 10x and you know, for the first time, like if you use Uniswap, you don't have limit orders, conditional orders, things like that. It's basically a real exchange built on the blockchain through smart contracts, basically. So what are they doing? Well, 
number one, I just wanted to point out that they are having their community fair launch the 20th through 23rd. So they're looking to do an absolutely free community or not free, but you know, fair launch essentially if you guys want the tokens. But if you want the free opportunity for crypto zombie subscribers, you can see for the next 11 days, all you have to do is basically just like do these little things right here, join you know, like literally just do little things, follow them on Twitter, and then you get an opportunity. If you want, you can follow them on Medium. It's basically just to promote them, right? To, just to get their name out and stuff like that. But what's really cool is they're going to pick uh, 20 winners and this is what you guys can get. You can get uh, uh, you can get a free NFT. You can get an alpha mainnet access up to ten thousand palm, which is roughly going to be around two thousand dollars at the time um, you know of the actual TGE event. And you will get to you know early access to use this. So I highly recommend you guys check this out. It's totally free. It's risk free. Look, if the tokens go to zero, who cares? They were free. If the NFT is worthless, who cares? It was free, right? So definitely take advantage of these opportunities. Make sure that you guys. Uh, go below. The link is going to be posted, obviously, in the top of the pin comment. That is for you guys. And pay attention because it is a community fair launch. So everyone's going to have an opportunity to get into this. And very often in the past, when you tend to see these sort of fair launches, they often tend to do pretty well with price discovery. So not financial advice, but if you guys want, that's down there below. Totally free for everyone. And yeah, that is basically it for me today, guys. So having a look, we are having a little bit of a pullback. As to be expected, I mean, clearly, obviously, this, uh, you know, obviously uh, <laughs> was a 10% move overnight. So you're going to have pullbacks. But like I said, watch the channel. You know, we're looking to have, you know, some of these retests, you know, the first one being at around 20,740. If we do retest that, we confirm on a daily candle, then I do say that, yes, we are going to end up going up to that $21,700 level. But also remember that we are going into the weekend. So Saturdays, Sundays, not necessarily always the greatest time to trade. It is very low liquidity right? And um, usually you can see these really erratic moves and nine times out of 10, whatever price we tend to close Friday night, right? CME futures gap, we usually either come back down to that price or pump up to that price, right? We usually come back to that price. So whatever price we close at, at the end of today is most likely going to be the price that Bitcoin's going to want to attract back to like a magnet come Monday, right? So do be careful if you are trading over this weekend. And uh, yeah, guys, that is it for me. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. You guys rock you the reason that I make these videos. If you are enjoying yourself, you're happy about this pump. If you were able to get into to that trade, you know, drop your comments below. Uh, really, really crazy times. And this is exactly why you don't want to feed into the FUD. Now, like I said, we have a long way to go until this, uh, you know, until this trend is broken. It's not broken yet. We are in a very, very, very clear downtrend, but this is a very good start. And if we do get the CPI reports coming in a little bit lower, the Fed pulls back a little bit. Meanwhile, the ECB is hiking, right? Could be a potential, uh, could be a potential storm for Bitcoin. So that being said, guys, that is it for me. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. And uh, wow, would you look at this, guys? Look at the candle opening right here. Could it be a fake ad on the S&P? I don't know. But the S&P has already opened green today. So that's it for me today, guys. Don't get too excited. Anything can happen. But I do think that better times are ahead. And I do genuinely think, honestly, that uh, the worst is behind us. But I'm just a crazy guy on the internet. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Do you? But that is it for me. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Congratulations if you guys did take that trade. That was a really, really good call. And we knew it was just going to blast right through there. So it's times like that that I get really excited about, you know, talking about crypto and stuff, but you guys are awesome. I love you. Hope you have an awesome day. And remember, if you are looking to trade, make sure that you do it responsibly as well as of course, profitably. But if you want to learn, watch my tutorial popping up right here, right now. Thanks again. Until next time, stay crypto. And of course, peace out.